I'm just about ready guys. Got to make the husband happy first. Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm from Botanic Ridge in Victoria and I'm making it my speckled. It's our family's special recipe. It's an Indonesian layer cake. It consists of a vanilla batter and a spice layer batter, which is made up of cinnamon, cardamom, cloves and nutmeg and a little bit of vanilla. Each layer is cooked individually under the grill and it's delicious. Okay, let's start making it. So we're gonna pop the unsalted butter into the mixer. My first memory of it is of my grandmother sending it from America. They moved to America from Indonesia a long time ago. And I can remember being in Wangaratta, that's where I was born, and it came in the mail and my mum opened it and I can still smell that. And I can still see my mum in the kitchen and the excitement that, you know, this cake came from overseas and it's just the most wonderful memory that I have of it. It's definitely not Christmas without it. What we're looking for here is the butter to be pale and fluffy. The sugar doesn't necessarily have to be completely dissolved into it, just needs to be pale and fluffy. Next, we're going to add the egg yolks and separate the egg yolks from the whites. Spackle is our family and this recipe is really the most special one that we have. My mother was a great cook, but this is the one that brings our family together. The little kids, even my grandchildren, when they started having their first ones, they would remember it the next year. Oma, Spackhook. My nieces and nephews growing up, you know, Auntie Lisa, Spackhook. It, it is our family. I can make up to 30 a year and I give them out as gifts to family and friends. This is a celebration cake and it brings everyone together. The recipe is ingrained in my head. It's probably the only recipe that I have that's ingrained in my head and it's so easy for me to make. And if you follow what I do today, you'll be able to make it as well. The consistency of the egg whites should be stiff and firm, not sloppy. See, holds its shape, beautiful. I don't want to do the one over my head, I'm not brave enough. <laughs> now we're going to add in the egg yolks one at a time. If my mum was here today to see that I'm sharing this recipe with all of you, she'd be super proud. And I'm getting emotional, <laughs> but yeah, it is really the most special recipe for us and I'm really honoured to be able to share it with you all. The next step is we're going to incorporate the egg white and the flour and we're going to do that alternating, starting with the flour and always ending in the flour. We alternate them because that's what my old ma said. That's her recipe and I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> I know a lot of uh, baking recipes call for everything to be really precise and do that, but when I do this, I make so many of them that I just whack it all together and all works out in the end. Now we'll just scrape down the sides again and then we'll give it one good final mix. I've had this bowl for about 25 years, I reckon, and if it breaks, I'm going to be heartbroken because it's exactly the right amount that I know I need to make the vanilla batter. Two thirds in this one for the vanilla and we'll have the remaining one third in here which we'll add the spices to and we'll add the vanilla essence to it. There we go. And now the cinnamon, the cloves, the cardamom and the nutmeg. Oh, smell that, that is Christmas. That is beautiful. When I bake this, our friends walk in the door or family walk in the door and they all the first thing they say is, smells like Christmas. <laughs> you want me to show you what I do to make sure that the batter's great? Don't do this at home, kids. We put the fingers in. Yum, that is Christmas. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the tins and go over to the grill and start baking. And so this is the little station you have to have. This table, actually, my husband made when he was in year seven, and he's going to be 60 next year, so it's pretty old. We're going to start with the spice layer and then go on to the vanilla layer, one at a time, cooked under the grill, and in between each layer, we're going to brush it with a bit of melted butter. You'll get those beautiful, even layers. So now we're going to add the two big heap spoons of the vanilla batter. My auntie and my cousin in America 
they make it every year. And my auntie actually has a different version of it with rum and raisins. Instead of a spice layer, it has a chocolate layer. So that's pretty special too. Then we'll pop it back in. The first ones will take longer to cook because they're sitting down lower from the grill. As it cooks and it gets up higher, the cake rises to the top of the tin, it'll cook faster. It's just seeing my family's faces, you know, they, they really light up. I normally give it out on Christmas Eve to the family and they will send me texts the next morning of them eating it for breakfast. <laughs> so when I see them, my heart is like, oh, it's fantastic, yeah. We're going to repeat these layers, alternating between the spice and the vanilla. We're trying to get maybe around about 22 layers. That's like you've hit when you've got that. And my auntie and cousin in America, they always keep score <laughs> of how many layers they can get. <laughs> it's very cool. Now we're gonna add the final layer. You should always finish with a vanilla layer, but if you don't, don't panic. It's always gonna taste the same. You just gotta be careful that when you take it out because it's risen so high to the top of the uh, tin, that you don't put your thumb into it. <laughs> you done that a bit? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that colour. So we'll put a final layer of butter on top. And now we'll put it on the bench and we'll wait for it to completely cool in the tin before serving. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. So let's see if the magic's happened. And let's see how beautiful this is going to look. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is how we eat it. Small little piece like this with a coffee and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Tastes like Christmas. <laughs>